G'day strangers of the internet, I'm the Apricot Gamer, and in this video we're going to be doing something a little bit different than gaming. In this video I'm going to show you how to install Cyanogen Mod, any version of it in fact, on your Android device. Now to do this you're going to have to do a few things before you can flash the ROM. Number one is make sure your bootloader of your device is unlocked. This will allow you to do what step two requires, which is installing a custom recovery. Due to Android's, well, stock recovery system not allowing you to flash custom ROMs, this is why we're going to need a custom recovery to allow all the flashing process to finish successfully. Alrighty then, now that we got that out of the way, first of all what you want to do is come to this website here, XDA Developers, and you're going to want to search in this search by your device. So mine is a uh, Huey Y300, and then you just hit search, and or Huey Y300 ROMs, and hit search. You should find something. If not, there is another website. It is called NeedROMs.com. They might have a couple ROMs on there. Just do a little research about the ROMs on your for your device, and you should find something. Then when you finish downloading the ROM, like I have right down there, you're going to want to go to this website called OpenG Apps. These are Google Apps like the Google Play Store, Google Play Services, etc. that you will need to install for Google Play functionality. Now for my phone, well this phone isn't even my daily driver, but besides the point, my phone I'm using to do this installation. I chose Nano, that's the minimum. You can choose Picro. Micro, mini, full, stock, super, whatever that word is, I'm not smart. And all of these will add up to more sizes. I just chose nano because it's the smallest and it's all I need. Alright, so once them two things are done downloading, what you're going to want to do is go to your phone, connect your phone to your computer, go into it, and go to the root of your phone to make everything easier. You can do this on an SD card, but... I don't have an SD card for this phone. What you want to do is drag the zip file. No need to extract it. The installer does it for you. You're going to want to drag the zip file into the root of your phone. So right now the Cyanogen mod ROM is extracting. Now you can use Cyanogen mod without the Google Play services, but it's going to be a lot more of a pain to install everything. You're going to have to search for APKs through the browser, right, 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 all well, that annoying shit is just not worth it in my books. Alright, so I've got the phone here. I'm going to go into the wipe section. Then I'm going to do tap everything but internal storage and those other three options. Now I slide to wipe and just be patient. Alrighty, so now that swipe, we go back, back again. And again to the install tab, I'll scroll down to where you put located your cyanogen mod, and then add an, the, another zip to the installation process, which will be the OpenG apps slide to install them, and then we'll be on our way. Alright, now that it's done, we're going to want to reboot the system, and if all goes well, you should see the cyanogen mod logo come up as a boot animation. Alright, now that it's done booting up, you're going to want to go through the setup procedure, so just select all your shit and that. Alright, and after it's done uh, with the setup, you should go to your desktop and see all the CyanogenMod 12.1 features if you're installing that version like I have. Now we'll go into settings and show you that it's legit CyanogenMod. As you can see it says CyanogenMod version and Android version version 5.1.1 and if we triple tap on CyanogenMod version we'll come up with the CyanogenMod lollipop easter egg. That's just like the Android lollipop easter egg. And yeah that's pretty much it. I thank you for watching and I hope this tutorial helped and well, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!